Now I'm excited because I finally get to talk to you briefly about what training without conflict is. Why should you sign up for my program and how is it different than anything else out there? You know there are many schools for dog trainers. There are people that do seminars, workshops, social media is flooded with dog training information. But my credentials and accomplishments are unmatched by any other trainer. And probably that's why you're here, because I know something that other trainers either don't think it's important or don't understand the concepts altogether. At present time, dog trainers like to put themselves in one of two camps. Either the all positive camp or the so-called balanced trainers. Training without conflict, it's neither or. In fact, it's not even a combination of the two. Training without conflict cannot be defined by operant conditioning quadrant. Positive and negative reinforcement, positive and negative punishment. These are very simplistic and incomplete ways to look at learning. We like to look at the dog as a fellow creature and we like that interaction. It's far more interesting than having a dog looking at us as a food dispenser. This is a very limited and very downgrading interaction with a very intelligent creature. Most dog trainers spend a lot of time repeating, repetition, 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 drilling the same thing over and over again or building the so-called muscle memory. So this is one of the big differences. We design our training plans and lessons in a way that the dog is allowed to show us when they grasp the concept so we can move on to the next thing. This allows for a lesson to be very interesting and motivating instead of getting stalled by this repetitiveness. That's a big deal. We understand what is the genetic makeup. We find a way how to control it and guide it into something that we like. Learning environment, for example. This is another big deal. Think of when you were at school, when you were a kid. There was this one teacher and this one class that you like to go to. And there are two reasons for that. One is, your genetic makeup, you liked, maybe you were an artistic person or you liked mathematics. But also the second one is how a teacher presents the material, how they talk to you, how they can make it interesting and, and get you really involved and curious about the subject. This is really important and we pay attention to very small details about how to create that environment that a dog always looks forward to come into the classroom. Something that I don't see done anywhere else. Play is another big deal. Most trainers think of play that it's something to do in their spare time. Yes, I play ball, yes, I play tug, Sometimes they think that they are rewarding a behavior with a toy. The way TWC trainer looks at play is very different. Play is one of the most powerful motivators. It's an innate brain system. It's biologically programmed in us. Just like the need to eat, there is a need to play for us and the dogs. Through games, we accomplish a very different interaction that is based on cooperation. But also, we can work on confidence, we can work on authority, we can build up a dog that is very shy instead of always approaching him with food, thinking that this is the best way to open up a dog. We actually can teach him how to play games and how to win games and allow him to grow and feel comfortable and confident, knowing that there is something in common that they can interact with us. I promise you that you're gonna be mind blown by the scientific data and information that I have collected over the years and included 
in the Training Without Conflict certification program. There will be no misleading bias information or cherry picking. You will be presented the most important scientific loads of learning and data and research that will directly apply to you as a dog trainer. Now combine this with my 40 years of successful hands-on practical experience and you have the most invaluable resource to go to for years to come. Now I want to tell you a, a proverb, a story. There is this fisherman that goes to a village and asks the hungry villagers, do you want me to give you fish or would you rather have me teach you how to fish? I designed training without conflict with that in mind, to where regardless if you're a pet professional trainer or a dog sport competitor or just on your own dog, you will have the confidence, the knowledge and ability to design your own training plans, to work with your different behavior problems and basically do anything dog with the confidence that you can put your own flavor into it. Training without conflict is not a cookie cutter program. It's not one fits all. This is the beauty of what I will teach you throughout the course.